All week, I've been getting the same question. And I think I know why. I think because as more and more people are becoming investors and more and more people know what they're doing, more and more people are feeling left out. So thankfully, I've put myself in position that that people know I'm tangible. You can you can really touch and feel me. So when people send me DMs saying, Scandal, what is it that you use to chart? It makes me feel good because no one's DMing me saying, how can I get rich? You don't know if I'm rich or not. You don't know if I win or lose. But what you do know is I know the fundamentals. And I'm assuming that you know you need to know the fundamentals in order to play this game properly. As I acquire more information, I elevate my game. I drop off some of the game behind me for free. You sit down with me one time, you can sit down with me forever. If you ever purchase a package, we are locked in for life. I don't care if it's the $49 package. I don't care if it's the $1,000 package. But once we're locked in, we're locked in. So as my game is elevated, I'm up in the price again soon, but fear not, I'm about to drop off some more game. How to chart. Now, I've made this video just to let everyone know, when you are looking at Robinhood, it is designed to be easily digestible. So the charts are easy to digest. The linguistics are easy to understand. However, it's inaccurate. But we're gonna watch this video, we're gonna take notes, we're gonna do as I say, and we're gonna avoid falling victim to the inaccurate charts of Robinhood. Step one, open your Robinhood account. Now, once you've opened Robinhood, click on account in the top right-hand corner, then go down and click on settings. Boom. Once you've clicked on settings, click on Robinhood Gold. Activate Robinhood Gold. It's $5 a month. It comes out of your buying power. I don't even notice when it takes it out. But trust me when I say this is important because when you see something that's about to pop, but you need to add 500 into your account. Have you noticed how when you add 500 on Robinhood, it takes about a week for it to hit your Robinhood? With Robinhood Gold, they front you at least up to five bands. Okay, but don't be a dickhead and instantly deposit four grand knowing you only have $500 in your account. They're going to take the 500, uh, then they're going to shut down your Robinhood until you put the four bands in. And no one wants to be inconvenienced with a frozen an account second thing you want to do is scroll down options trading you want options trading level three you want to be able to buy calls and puts sell covered calls sell cash covered puts exercise options buy and sell spreads i think i'm actually going to take my time because i love you guys so much because all of you've pressed subscribe right and all of you've hit the thumbs up right and for the few of my favorites who even go out the way to screen record a little bit of this put it on instagram for you guys i'm going to make a video detailing each one of these but for now just make sure you go on Robinhood, activate your Robinhood gold activate your options uh, options trading oh and if you have have any questions about this link in my instagram bio the 49 dollar joint gonna get us on the phone for an hour i'll walk you through this and some once you've done that click the link in the description of this video for trading view once you get on trading view you want to set up a trading view account now when you're setting up accounts it's going to show you these three these four packages i use the 29.95 because my game isn't elevated enough to need the extras that's in the 59 but as you see i started with the basic went up to pro now i use more indicators and i use more screens so i'm paying this 29.95 a month if you have a problem with these prices click out of this video i don't want you sharing my energy i don't want you absorbing this information because if you've looked at 29.95 and thought oh i ain't about to even though you know there's a free trial so if this isn't a platform that you can learn utilize and master within 30 days making 30 dollars worth it in your mind then you don't possess the type of mind that i would like to share my my energy with so please click out and go watch videos of cats falling off fridges or something that shit cheaper than an eight for some gas cheaper than backwards cheaper than papers cheaper than funnels cheaper than anything that you'll spend your money on today so if you don't see the value in spending 29.95 to elevate some game goodbye so moving on you open up uh you open the pro plus account and be and because you're not stupid yes you exercise the free trial just start the free trial fuck it in 30 days cancel if you don't want to then we go to our favorite stock i'm gonna go with sq if you know me you know me now when you when you're on trading view you typed in your first Type your first stop, SQ, it's gonna come up like this. Now, on the right-hand side, these are the price points. You can click it, click, and just drag it up and down. At the bottom, this is the time frame. You can click it and drag it left and right. Play around with this, get used to sliding it back and forth. You know, look at the year frame. Go to some of your favorite stocks, see how much they were worth five years ago. Think to yourself, damn, fuck was I doing with five years ago that made me not want to invest in something like this. Now, if you look right here, I like to use, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I just call them the Heineken candles. I don't know how you pronounce that. But you can, some people use hollow candles. You see what I'm saying? Some people use just regular candle candles. Some people use them as bars, freaking weirdos. So you can really pick what you want. I use the Heineken candles. I just like how they look. So play around with that, right? You done playing? Okay, cool. Next thing you want to do click on this little fx right here these are going to give you your indicators these are going to give you your information right because right now all you have is candles what are candles well we're looking at 
let's say the five minute five day chart each one of these candles represents the highest and lowest transaction price for the five minutes now if we're looking at the 30 minute chart each candle represents the highest and lowest transaction price within 30 minutes you get it simple shit now to add to the information we click on the indicators type ma click this four times one two three four four okay so that has given us four moving average lines i'm gonna explain it just follow with me now go to the first one it's the 9 ma you can leave that alone go to the second one click on this set settings wheel right here turn that 9 to a 21 change the color let's make it yellow go to the third one change it to one uh change it to 100 and you know what we'll make this one we'll make this one red or purple whatever that is go to this last one input 200 and we are going to make this light blue now what we just did is we put four moving average lines on the chart what is a moving average line it smooths out the price trends and gets rid of all the extra noise from random price spikes or price dips based on a certain data set now a data set it would be five days five minute chart the moving average lines represent either 9 21 100 or 200 average price points so you can use these four lines to confirm or deny the change in direction with a certain trend if the 100 and the 200 are on an uptrend and the share price falls below the 9 and the 21 chances are if it doesn't cross below the 100 and the 200 it's gonna try and cross back over the 9 and the 21 so if you look at sq for the last year every time it dipped below the 21 ma it got closer and closer to the 100 until eventually it's dipped below so for it let's say you bought leaps which are i think it's six month plus or 12 month plus contracts let's say you bought those right here you wouldn't have had to panic here or here because it never crossed the 100 ma but this one you kind of would have been like oh shit i should get out of here next time i see a rise because chances are next time it crosses the 100 it'll drop down that isn't a guarantee you know this is just a way of thinking you take that and you can variate it any different way you can some people use different strategies some people use the 150 the 15 and the, and the 12 ma some people only use two lines some people use 10 but me i just use the 100 and the 200 and then i use the 9 and the 21 now if you're if you look at the one month chart you see how for a second here the share price rode nicely underneath the 100 ma but if you're looking at a yearly chart it never got close to it so that just shows you the importance of flipping between different time frames so that's why you'll end up having a screen like this you could be end up you could end up looking at the same stock four different times but in four different time frames and i'll make sure that they're all you know just for consistency's sake i make sure that they're all gamestop and i'm looking at gamestop in four different time frames so i don't expect anyone to watch this video once and completely grasp the concept the basis is you use ma lines to form a strategy to either confirm or deny changes in trend direction take this information use it run with it stay tuned i'm gonna see you next week